Hello, if you want to skip this little life update, here's the timestamp to do so. Anyway, in case you haven't noticed, I haven't posted in a while, in about a month, and that's because a lot has happened since I accidentally poisoned myself trying and failing to make okay soda. There was a loss in my family, there was a lot of pain that followed that. I transferred to a new job, quit that job, got another new job. Oh, and also, I acted again for the first time since, I mean, Nettlebrook went on hiatus. I was lucky enough to play the character Ferdinand in the play Francis E. Fingerbowl has gone missing. It was written by my friend Ava Foydick. This is her directorial debut. Our run ended up getting cut short because one of our cast members got COVID, but honestly, I can't even be mad about it. It was such a good experience. I got to act again. I love the character that I played. I got to meet people from the internet. I got a gift. Making content is one of my favorite things in the world. It's truly a source of joy for me. I don't think I'm ever gonna quit it, no matter what happens, but I am gonna have to take breaks every now and then. Thank you all so much for your patience. Thank you for knowing that I am a human being with a real life and I get busy sometimes. Anyway, on to the video. Hello. There are many, many, many unique faces in this world. I am not one of them. What do I mean by that? I mean, if I had a dollar for every time someone told me, you know who you look like? Or you look just like blah, blah, blah. Or, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were someone else. I'd have enough money to buy happiness. And of course, these comments have followed me online. I get told every day what actor or cartoon character or person or whatever that I look just like. And this didn't bother me at first, but over the years, this has really come to annoy me, mostly because I think a lot of these comparisons are inaccurate. Common themes with the people that I'm comparing to are uh, men with baby faces, you know, men with like double chins or round cheeks, women with short hair, white women with short hair, just any white woman with short dark hair. I, I apparently look just like anyone with big ass eyes. <laughs> but that all ends today. Today I am taking back my appearance and my identity. I will be a doppelganger no more. I have compiled a list of the most common people who I have been told that I look like. And today I'm going to go through these and decide once and for all if I actually fucking look like them. Oh, they break. Oh, they shake. They back. Okay, let's get the elephant out of the room. I've talked about this in a video before, but one of the most traumatizing- One time someone who I don't know, I've never interacted with, they didn't follow me, I didn't follow them, reached out to me on Instagram to tell me that without makeup, I look like Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> I like the fix it at the end. I think this is just one of many examples of people saying that I look like a man with a round face. I guess the technical term for this is that I am the yassified Kyle Rittenhouse, but with this comes the terrifying implication that if Kyle Rittenhouse were to put on makeup and slay like I do, he would look just like me. Ah, you better stop! Anyway, my humiliation aside, on with the show. We're gonna start with the comparisons that I get the most and then work our way down to the more obscure ones. Uh, number one, Dr. Frankenfurter from Rocky Horror Picture Show. Okay, you guys, I heard you. You can stop fucking commenting it now. It's hopeless. It isn't going to get any better. No matter where I turn, there's no escape. <laughs> Do I think that I look like Dr. Frankenfurter? No, I think it just comes down to the makeup that he wears. I don't think that I actually look like Tim Curry. Like face structure wise, I think that we were nothing alike. I mean, we both have like deep set eyes and heavy lids, but that's really it. It's I think it's just the makeup thing. Tim Curry is beautiful though, so I'm not like offended by that one. Next up, I get this comment at least five times a day. Nancy Down from The Craft. I, okay, I see this one. I definitely do. I'm not mad at this one. I think she's beautiful and Nancy Down is a fucking queen. One of these days, I'm gonna make a video talking about my problems with the morality in The Craft. That's probably gonna be like five years from now knowing me. Next up, Rizzo from Greece. I'm gonna be honest, I was skeptical about this one at first for a while. I was like, do I actually look like her or is she just a white woman with short hair? But upon further inspection, I do look like her. It doesn't help that I'm often told that I look way older than I actually am. And you know, speaking of Rizzo, here's a direct quote from one of my TikTok comments. Damn, Russo took a dark turn after she unsliced that fetus at the end of Greece. What the fuck are you talking about? Who's Russo? Next up, Roderick from Diary of a Wimpy Kid, or at least the original Roderick. I'm not gonna lie, I think this one is right. I think I do kind of look like him. Like not just the short dark hair, but also I think I have similar eyes to him. I've been told in the comments of videos where I'm not wearing any makeup at all that I look just like him. So I think this one honestly holds more weight than some of the others. Next up, Sarah Hyland. First of all, I'm not mad at this comparison because she's stunning. Again, I do see it. I see it in the eyes, the cheeks. Holy fuck, wait. Like a lot of these 
<laughs> a lot of these are accurate. Like, am I a doppelganger? This is the opposite of what I wanted to happen. <laughs> Next up, Betty Boop. This is one of my classic comparisons. And I remember when I was younger, I really leaned into this one because I liked being compared to Betty Boop. I even had this sweater with Betty Boop on it um, because I loved attention. Do I look like her? I mean, yeah, she's a cartoon character, so there's not many details to go off of, but like chubby cheeks, short curly dark hair, woman, what more could you need? Okay. <laughs> This is kind of an oddball one. I've only actually been told that I look like this person one time, but this is easily like the comparison that sticks with me the most. Like I can never get it out of my head. One time I dated a guy who told me that I look like the little boy from the Quiet Place. Not the one that dies right at the beginning, Ooh, spoilers, but the one in the sweater. Uh, Noah Jupe is his name. I would write this one off as He's just a boy with a baby face and we both have curly brown hair. But I don't know, the guy who I was dating was just so adamant about it. He'd say like, you look just like him. Like actually he's your spitting image. Now, no offense to Noah Jupe, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, I don't fucking look like him. <laughs> and you'd think that'd be obvious considering I'm a woman in my mid twenties and he's a baby boy. <laughs> anyway, I just had to mention that one. This, <laughs> this, Comparison in particular has been haunting me for years now. <laughs> okay, now we're getting to the more unique ones. Someone on TikTok said that I look like Gerard Way, and at first I was so confident. I was like, no, I don't. I've seen Gerard Way. I know that I don't look anything like him. And then I looked up a picture of him, and god damn it, <laughs> I see it. I think especially recent pictures of him, like as he's older, I don't know, maybe our faces are like wrinkling in the same way, but fuck, I see it. Shit, damn it. Fuck. One person commented, has anyone said Ashley from Degrassi yet? This is where I put my fucking foot down. This is where I lay down the law. That is just a white woman with short hair. That is just a fucking white woman with short hair. You can't say that I look like every white woman with short hair. And don't get me wrong, I'm not worked up like this because I'm offended being compared to her. She's a beautiful woman, but just you can't tell me that I look like every white woman with short hair. You can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> Up next, Mila Kunis. As far as accuracy goes, I think this is kind of middle of the road. Like we both have big eyes and I think that's kind of it. One person said, I look like William Murderface from Metalocalypse. I suppose I should be offended by that because canonically in the show, he's really fucking ugly and everyone hates him. But I can't even get mad about that because I have so many thoughts on Murderface. This is what I call foreshadowing a future video. It's gonna take forever to come out knowing my schedule. But at some point in the next like, how long did the Grim Reaper say I have? I'll make an official video discussing him because there is a lot to discuss. One person said, Vito, Ju wow, Vito. One person said, wow, Vito Jr.'s all grown up. And I was like, who's Vito Jr.? Oh, hell yeah. Realistically, I don't think I look like him. I think this is just another example of people comparing me to round faced boys or men, but like, I love him. He fucking slays. <laughs> Alice Cullen from Twilight. Again, she's just a woman with short hair. The actress that plays Alice, Ashley Green, is a beautiful woman, but I don't think I fucking look anything like her. One person commented, Eddie? Uh, I assume they're referring to Eddie from Stranger Things. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't watched Stranger Things in fucking years. Not because I have any problem with the show, it's just that I stopped watching at one point and forgot to ever start again. Now I'm embarrassed. Anyway, unless they're referring to some other Eddie, I'm assuming they're referring to Eddie from Stranger Things. Do I think I look like him? No. I am, however, appreciative that they for once compared me to someone with long hair. I mean, I guess our noses do have a kind of similar, like, bulb at the end. Oh, fuck, I'm a doppelganger. It's kind of funny because when I was younger, I used to have his exact hairstyle because I wanted to look like Demi Lovato. It's twin ah! Anyway, we're coming to the end. Let's just have a speed round of comments I've gotten on my appearance. A comment on TikTok said, this is a compliment, but I like how your makeup always looks like it went through both world wars and a five hour mental breakdown. I mean, true. Another person from TikTok writes, you remind me so much of my Portuguese teacher. She hated my guts, but I wouldn't know syntax analysis or verb transitivity without her. Just like, what is it? What is it about my appearance that's so common and yet so versatile at the same time? Like, there's no fucking way that I can look like a little boy and also a teenage girl and also an adult woman and also an adult man and also another little boy and also someone's Portuguese teacher. I need answers. What is it? Comment now. <laughs> and finally, you look like that one actor. I forgot his name. He played Scott Pilgrim, I think. Michael Stanley. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Oh, one more comparison. I've only gotten one time, but I've never forgotten about. Uh, someone said I look like Michael 
from the Ralph Bakshi movie, Heavy Traffic. Honestly, kind of spot on. In all seriousness, I'm not actually offended by these comparisons. I think they're funny. I just also wish that people would, you know, get more fucking creative. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being patient with me while I took care of things in my real life. Subscribe if you want to, don't if you don't, and I'll see you next whenever I upload. Bye.